All right, man. We're just we're gonna talk a little bit more about Georgia's defeat to Tennessee last night. Georgia fell to Tennessee, 85 to 79. Um, want to give a big shout out real quick to the Ice Dogs. If you watched the stream, the Ice Dogs won the um, Savannah Cup. The Cup came back to Athens. This is the tenth time Georgia has won the Savannah Cup. Um, so very proud of the dogs, the ice dogs, and very proud of the hoop dogs as well. Um, Georgia should have won yesterday, but it'll always be a game of what ifs. And I hate that's what it is, but that is going to be a game of what ifs. Georgia should have won, but unfortunately did not. Um, Dalton Kajic scored 36 points for Tennessee. If that guy does not score that many points, Georgia wins the game. Um, uh, Kinnett was, um, one of the best performances I have ever seen at Stegman Coliseum. Uh, probably one of the best performances I have ever seen a team in total. He literally held Tennessee and put them on, and put them on his back. So, there's that. Uh, Zakai Ziegler had 18 points. Uh, Jonas Awadu had 10 points. And, um... One of my favorite Tennessee players, um, Tobu Awaka had uh, six points. I really like Awaka. I, th I think he, I, don't, I don't remember if he was in their starting lineup or not. I think he's good enough to be in their starting lineup. Um, when you combine all their players up, that combines 85 points. And then Georgia's leading scorers was Jabri at Dover He had 21, or like total points, I guess, if you count like assist and Rebounds, Donald Thomason, 14. Uh, Salias Damari Jr., he had 13. Um, Big Russ had one point. And I think it was at the free throw line, yeah. He had one point. Um, RJ Madero has shot the free pointer really good, which is something we have not seen from him this year. Coming into the game, he was only shooting 17% from three. He knocked down three of them. He had a total of... Uh, he had a total of 13 points. Blue Kane had six. Justin Hill had uh, Blue Kane had nine. Justin Hill had six, and Jalen Deloach had two. Um, it really was a game of a tale of two halves. I believe if if Georgia would have played better in the first half, chances are they would have won. Um, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Anyway, what I was saying is it was an effort for Georgia that uh, could have been done. Unfortunately, was not. It definitely will go down as what if. Georgia last win versus a top five team, if you saw the post on X, um, was the 03-04 Kentucky game. They beat Kentucky and Georgia Tech with, within two weeks of each other. So, um, it's just what meant to be Saturday. And I hate that's the case, but I guess it's the truth. It was not meant to be. Um, it hurt. It really hurt, but I mean, hopefully Georgia will move on to better things. So, it, Georgia and Tennessee, Georgia's next game will be South Carolina at 9 p.m. I'm about to have a preview of that game. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to move on from the Tennessee loss. Uh, hopefully, Tennessee doesn't beat us twice, and you know what I mean by that. Hopefully, the players are still not dragged by this game. Hopefully Georgia comes out Tuesday night ready to go again. So let's go Hoop Dogs. Always and forever. That was a hard loss though.